When the Union Pacific train collided with the Burlington Northern train, it caused all of those cars to crunch up. Part of that took out the concrete pillars on this overpass, and you can see here two vehicles did not make it over the bridge on Highway M here. Also, as crews arrived in the scene, they're dealing not only with the train collision, the bridge collapse, but the fact that this whole area was quickly catching on fire. I heard the cars crash up on top. I was afraid somebody lose their life. Diesel fuel spilling from the wrecked mess of train cars caught fire as emergency crews worked to free the Union Pacific conductor and engineer from their toppled engine. Got over when they bring the engineers out. Uh, one of them was fairly bloody. The other one looked like he was shaking up. The uh, Chaffee Fire Department got them up the overpass. Woody Woods, asleep in his home a few hundred yards away, immediately called 911 when he heard the crash he describes as horrific. They just got the, the guys out and started up the embankment, and there was a small fire. By the time I got back on the other side of the tracks, it had reached a pretty good size and had a huge black cloud of smoke were rolling at that time. The Union Pacific train full of trucks and SUVs on its way to Texas T-boned the last three cars of a Burlington Northern train full of scrap metal. The derailed cars went crashing into the concrete pillar supporting the bridge. The train actually, when it hit it, it took it out. And when that happened, the bridge collapsed. There was actually two cars on the bridge at the time and there was a total of five people in those two cars. Those five passengers plus the two train workers all had minor to moderate injuries. The NTSB is now investigating the crash. In Scott County, Emily Rao, News 4.